Join us, leave your fields to flower. Join us, leave your cheese to sour. Join us, come and waste an hour or two. Doodly do. songs get taken down at any point we are on youtube it's in the description above so come and join us there yeah okay it's not in the description above but it's in stew's page everything has its season everything has its time show me a reason and i'll soon show you a rhyme cats fit on the windowsill children fit in the snow why do i feel i don't fit in Anywhere I go, rivers belong where they can ramble, eagles belong where they can fly, I've got to be where my spirit can run free, gotta find my corner of the has a 
his daydreams Every man has his goal People like the way dreams have of sticking to the soul Thunderclouds have their lightning And nightingales have their song And don't you see, I want my life to be something more than long Rivers belong where they can rumble Eagles belong where they can fly I've got to be where my spirit can run free Gotta find my corner of the sky Well, so many men seem destined to settle for something small But I won't rest until I know I got it all So don't ask where I'm going Just listen when I call And far away you'll hear me singing Softly to the dawn Rivers belong where they can ramble Eagles belong where they can fly I've got to be where my spirit Gotta find my corner We don't normally do that. No, we don't. We just went right in. Right in the deep end. Hi, everybody. It's such a great second number of of the show itself that it just felt like we had to just go straight in. Exactly. We're so happy to be here. Who loves Stephen Schwartz? We do. We do. And we think all of you do, too. Um, There's so much material to get through tonight. Yes. Um, A lot of material. And a lot of... There's some obvious ones, some not so obvious ones. Mm, I think so. Um, Yeah. Obviously, those first two numbers were from Pippin which was Stephen Schwartz's second show on Broadway, I think in 1972. Yes. yes. So it was Godspell 1971, Pippin 1972, which he actually started when he was in college yes, at Carnegie Mellon, Carnegie Mellon University. Who else went there, honey? My little brother and oh, well, his wife. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> um, so I think that's really interesting, although he said that none of the songs from that original college production made it into the show. Oh. But that's where it originated. Well, there we go. It's a very interesting show. I, d- I had to yeah. like read the synopsis again because I've seen it a number of times, but I'm, sure, I'm still not quite sure what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but I think I would understand it more as an adult, have a lovely maybe. Time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm curious, first of all, where are you guys watching from? Lots of people who are, especially in the United States, I think it's, there's a ton of snow on the ground still. Maybe it's starting to be a little bit not as like you have to stay inside all the time. Yeah. But I know that it's been, the weather has been kind of brutal out there at home. Um, so where are you guys watching from? And um, what is your favorite Stephen Schwartz show or song? We asked a bunch of people earlier this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah. And there are a ton of... There's, I mean, people immediately go to the, the obvious ones. Yeah. They love Wicked. Yeah. They love Godspell. They love Pippin. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, there's The Baker's Wife. And, and, like, some people will know certain songs but not realize what musical it's from. Or people yeah. will like the musical and maybe mm-hmm. not necessarily know the songs that are within that as well. Um, so, hopefully, sure. tonight you'll hear a huge variety of, of Schwartz epics. Yeah. And ballads and nice things. And, like, I think... We might as well just kick off. Like, well, here's the thing. So I was I was in high school in 2003, high school musical theater nerd, and there was this little show that came out during that time called uh, Wicked. Has anybody ever heard of it? And I'm pretty sure that is my first introduction to Stephen Schwartz. Really, like I'd heard of Godspell and stuff, but I didn't really know it. Yeah. But like Wicked was. I remember where I was when I first heard the cast album recording just finished the high school musical that fall and it was playing in the lobby and I was like, what is this? I think it was Kristen (laughs) Chenoweth singing popular. Anyway, we're going to kick off with um, the I Want song. He sang the Pippin I Want song. I did indeed. I'm going to sing Elphaba's I Want song that comes kind of early on in the show. So here you go. Cool. (laughs) Pray for me. It's a lot of breathing with a six and a half month old fetus inside of me. (laughs) Here we go. (laughs) Hee <laughs> 
Hi, Diana. Oh, I hope you're safe. Did that really just happen? Have I actually understood this weird quirk I've tried to suppress or hide is a talent that could help me meet the wizard if I make good. So I'll make good. When I meet the wizard, hi dad, <laughs> once I prove and then I'll meet the wizard, what I've waited for since, since birth, <laughs> and with all his wizard wisdom, by my looks, he won't be blinded. Do you think the wizard is dumb, or like Munchkin, so small-minded? No, he'll say to me, I see who you truly are, a girl on whom I can rely, and that's how it'll begin. Once you're with the wizard, no one thinks you're strange. No father is not proud of you. No sister acts a shame. And all of us have to love you when by the wizard you're acclaimed. And this gift or this curse I have inside, maybe it'll last a long while when we are hand in hand. A girl who is so superior Shouldn't a girl who's so good inside Have a matching exterior And since folks here to an absurd degree Seem fixated on your vertically Would it be alright by you If I degree in it Just had a vision almost like a prophecy. I know it sounds truly crazy and true. The vision's hazy, but I swear someday there'll be a celebration throughout us. That's all to do. Your speakers have just exploded. I'm sorry. Like, I hope that yeah. Was I also kind of hope that that did happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and also like you're probably sat there thinking, well, where do we go from here? Like she's just whacked out wizard and I. Like easy, right? I easy. don't know. I feel like I need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. But that like. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. What I what I love about 
like that song and 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 the show is that it it felt like that was the gear shift for the female voice in musical theater it's like that's when things started to change and every girl everyone yeah. that I was at drama school with all for wanted to be felt in e flat. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and actually for the detriment of like although the industry has moved forward musically and there's a mm-hmm. lot more sort of pop scores like that happening uh we've lost the, the classical element of of the musical voice in a lot of a lot of new shows because a lot of shows aren't written to have the classical sound yeah so like i, I love it and it also it, it i feel like that was the beginning of the change i think so i think industry. yeah because before that i feel like the show that was like the role that was like the big belty role was um millie mm. in, in thoroughly modern yes. millie which had been come out i think just a couple years prior and then they gear shifted but it, they gear shifted because they had stephanie j block playing Elphaba in the um in the, the workshop. workshops mm. before Adina Menzel ended up being cast because she had a Tony nomination but Stephanie J Block they were building the show for her voice and I mean if you don't know Stephanie J Block like go listen to her sing go listen to her sing that song immediately she is incredible yeah. um but yeah it's just I mean and but now but girls now are learning how to do that and yeah. healthily which yes, is good too which is good yeah. Uh, it was huh. a good time to say, like, after two epic I want songs, uh, <laughs> this, this is more um, we would like moment. Uh, we've yeah. got our, our tip jar. We have it every every week. Uh, a lot of you already do tip, and we thank you. And I, first of all, I have to apologize. We always send out a thank you email every week after we've received uh, your generous donations. And I forgot because I was too busy getting this show together with Heather that I, I forgot to send all those emails. So I sent them out today, which is a little bit too late. So I'm sorry that uh, you didn't get a thank you email straight away, but that will not happen again. I apologize it's, there. It's mostly because you guys, our week prepping for these shows starts on Monday morning. On Monday morning, sometimes first Sometimes before that. So it's, it's sometimes things get lost in the in the excitement and the work of everything. But exactly. that but to be said. We, we accept uh, through PayPal or Venmo if you use either one of those. Or if you don't use either of those, you can pay with a credit card or Apple Pay, Google Pay. By scanning that code there with your camera phone, it'll direct you to a website. So scan the QR code. Uh, otherwise, uh, there is a, along the bottom, you can see the, the link, the email, uh, not the email, the, uh, the website address yeah. there yeah. as well. So thank you very much in advance. We're going to crack on. Yeah. So I was going to say Wicked, obviously, that was very influential for the female voice. But also, it was, it was a, the first time a major motion picture studio partnered with um, Broadway producers to bring mm-hmm. a show to the stage. Stephen Schwartz went after the rights um, because after he heard about this book while he was on vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> and he I was like, oh my gosh, this would be a perfect musical. He found out that Mark Platt at Universal Pictures mm-hmm. um, had the rights. Ben Platt's dad. Ben Platt's so if you know dad. Dear Evan Hansen and Ben Platt, he's dad. All connected. Um, and he... Mark Platt was really excited to meet Stephen Schwartz because he had been in a production of Pippin in high school or something like that. So he loved musical theater. Um, The show ended up costing $14 million, but made it back in the first year, which never happens. Usually it takes two or three years for Broadway to recoup its uh, investment. So it was a huge deal. One of my favorite little things I learned this week was that that unlimited my future is, is the first seven notes of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Da, 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 da. So I just thought that was really interesting. Yeah. Maybe nobody else does. And probably a lot of people no, already know that. That's but. the geeky stuff that we need to know. Yeah. Because that's what makes this whole genre awesome. Yeah. Well, yes. Now well, I think we should just have a bit of fun with this next one. I agree. Somebody mm. asked for this and you're getting it. Fools. <laughs> I think that was just oh, the that's top. that's straight in. Right. Yep. Here okay, we go. Sorry. We're doing it again. Now you know what it is. <laughs> There's been some confusion over rooming here at Shays. But of course I'll care for Nessa. But of course I'll rise above it. For I know that's how you'd want me to respond. Yes. There's been some confusion for you see my roommate is. I need peculiar and exceedingly too right and possible to describe blonde I used to be <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new 
I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing. My head is reeling. My face is flushing. What is this feeling? Perfect as a flame. Does it have a name? Yes. Loathing. Unadulterated loathing. For your face. Your voice. Your clothing. Let's just say. I love it all. Every little trait, however small, makes my very flesh begin to crawl. With simple lot of loathing, there's a strange exhilaration in such total detestation. It's so pure, so strong. God, you admit it can run fast. Still, I do believe that it can last. Yes, there we go. So finally, I got so to good. play one of the most iconic leading ladies in the West End. Alphaba? Yeah. You got to play Glinda earlier in early January. Oh, we yes. did a show called Gender Swap. Hi, guys. Oh, thanks. Oh, thank yes, you so course. much. I played her. And oh, I hi, Lacey. Yeah. Oh, glad to have you here. Um, lovely, yeah, he lovely, sang, he sang uh, Popular, which mm. is why I'm not singing it today, because how could I possibly, after my husband sang it better than I could? Brilliant. Um, um, I'm not anyway. sure that was the case, though. <laughs> um, anyway, so Stephen Schwartz, I think most well-known for Wicked and Godspell and Pippin, mm-hmm. he actually, he's very... Randomly to me, this is a very random fact. He is one of two composers to have three shows that he has written mm-hmm. run on Broadway for over 1,500 performances. It's him and Jerry Herman, strangely enough. Mm-hmm. I can't remember which shows that Jerry Herman it was Mame. Um, Surely Hello Dolly. Must Hello Dolly. It was Mame, Hello Dolly, and. Um, Lacage? Yeah, Lacage. Yeah. Um, and so Schwartz, yes. Pippin ran for over 1,500 performances. Wicked, obviously, has run for over 1,500 performances. And this next show was a bit of a surprise since I had never heard of it before this week. Um, it is called The Magic Show. Mm-hmm. And it starred a magician. And I literally had never heard of the song ever in my entire life. Um, it's, and it ran for almost 2,000 performances. So I'm going to sing a song from that show that's really lovely. I just learned it. And it's, this is called The Lion Tamer. Super, super cute. I'd like to be a lion tamer Sequins and tights and silk tops No, I could be a lion tamer. I've always gotten along with cats. I'd have a whip, but never use it. I'd simply hold it in my hand. I'd like to be a lion tamer. If I could be a lion tamer, I would be 
is so pretty yeah, as well. Yeah, it really oh, is. It, it's just great. But like, I just love it when like you do these big belty numbers, but then you also do these really cute, innocent things as well. And they just they sound lovely. Thanks, sweetheart. Very happy. Yeah. I think another thing I learned this week about Stephen Schwartz is that he loves to write in 6-4 and 7-4. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he writes a lot. And speaking of which, there's, there's quite a few little things in this one as well. Mm. Um, but like, am I right... I don't know. In thinking that he's never won a Tony Award for he's, anything that he's he written. He has never won a Tony Award. He's been nominated mm -hmm. and he's won an Oscar and a Grammy, not an Emmy. And he has a Tony, but he has a Tony that was given to him for the work that he has done in, oh gosh, I can't remember if it's like educational yeah, it yeah. wasn't like a lifetime achievement. It was not. Award the baby either, is kicking know? like crazy, yeah. so I think it can finally hear. Us. Yes, <laughs> it's, it's I'm there like, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> well, well, it can just sort of. Like, it's kind of appropriate actually, because for what I'm about to sing. Yeah, there so, you go. I mean, we don't know. We what don't. It we is. don't know whether it's it's not a son or a daughter at the moment. It's one of the two. We'll find out soon enough. Yep. Um, so, like, I heard this next song years ago. I bought this cast recording. I used to go into um, to Dress Circle when it was here or even HMV and I'd go through all the soundtracks and I'd always try to buy a musical that I hadn't heard of before and just take a punt, buy the CD and listen to it and, and see what it is. I mean, that's how I heard a lot of great, great new musicals. Take a punt. Um, <laughs> take a punt oh, take a punt <laughs> see how it goes um, and, and the musical Working was one of those uh, albums that I bought and I heard this song on it now Working was a, sort of like a show based upon a book called Working people I had to write it down it's a blooming long one people talk about what they do all day and how they feel about what they do by Studs Terkel in 1974 oh. Yes, there we go. There we go. Got that. Um, so, like, it, it's essentially it's a a, a bunch of stories uh, about about people, what they do for a living, and how they feel about it. 
And so Stephen Schwartz took that idea and he actually wrote the, the book connecting all these songs, but they are essentially a collection of songs that tell these stories. And they were written by uh, quite a few writers, um, including Craig Carnelia, um, Mickey Grant, Mary Rogers, uh-huh. pretty awesome, and, and even James Taylor. In, last week, obviously, we sang... Um, You've got a friend. Yeah, you've got a friend, and uh, that James Taylor did. So that's how you know when I say James Taylor, which James Taylor I mean. Uh, And he also then wrote songs within this show. And then in 2012, they rewrote the show again. It's had a few rewrites over the years. And Lin-Manuel Miranda, uh, Hamilton fame in in the Heights, uh, everything at the moment, to be fair. (laughs) He, uh, He came on board and wrote a few numbers for the revised version. Um, But this was actually also directed by Stephen Schwartz, which Whoa, I didn't know until I, know I did either. the research. So that was pretty cool. That's so like cool. He, he wrote the book, some of the songs in it, and he directed this bad boy. So this song is called Fathers and Sons, and I just thought, I'll give that one to you guys today. Son, now I know they're true. Boy, you never stop to think how fast the years run. Now they've taken you. I remember you once three and a half. Your mom and me would sit there after things got quieted. Laugh at some new word you said How tough you were to get to bed And we'd plan the night away Planning for our kid I was your hero then I couldn't do no wrong As far as you were concerned You thought I was the best of men The tables hadn't turned You hadn't learned How little time it takes And daddies make mistakes Seems to me that lately I've been thinking a lot I think about my dad Lots of funny things come back I thought I'd forgot Now they make me sad High school and it used to be I didn't want him touching me and I'd shudder if he did Further back to summer nights Baseball games beneath the lights and sleeping in the car My daddy and his kid But he was my hero couldn't do no wrong as far as I was concerned I thought he was the wisest and the strongest and the best of men the tables hadn't turned I hadn't learned how little time it takes and everybody breaks Daddies make mistakes I heard a lot of songs say Where you going my son Now I know they're for real Boy you never stop to think How fast the years run And the things they steal It seems I 
always knew why I do the things I do and the things I never did. Why I work my whole damn life so I could give a better life than the one my dad could give me. I give it to my It's a, it's a yeah. nice song, yeah, like a real, a real, real killer. I mean, his lyrics are great. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's a couple of odd things in there that yeah. I, I find, like, but like, it's easy to get lost. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's interesting, like, he worked as a composer, lyricist, mm-hmm. but he obviously is also, there's something about him that isn't so arrogant, is it maybe, I don't know if that's the right word to yeah, use. Yeah, there's an honesty like, about yeah, well, what I was going to say is that, like, he had this established career as a composer and lyricist. Mm-hmm. And then in the 90s, he got a phone call from Alan Menken <laughs> after Howard Ashman passed away tragically way too soon um, to come and work for Disney. So he kind of yeah. left Broadway for a while and just worked in the animated world mm-hmm. um, with Pocahontas and Hunchback of Notre Dame. And I mean, the, they're the, the main the two the that main I can think of. No, but then, and then he then went on and worked for DreamWorks with Prince of Egypt, which he did write the music yes. and lyrics for. Yeah. So the next couple ones we're going to do, he only wrote the lyrics for. Um, mm. And specifically, this, this movie, Enchanted, was like my favorite movie when it came out. I loved it so much. I got a lot of Amy Adams comparisons. <laughs> um, which I wasn't mad about. <laughs> and, um, I wish we could compare bank accounts, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. See that? No, just kidding. It's not scrolling. Our tip information is scrolling below. That, that, no, that, we should be doing that. <laughs> yeah, um, Don't no. make people feel guilty that we're not Hollywood stars. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a really, really beautiful... I mean, I'm sure most of you have seen Enchanted. Um, but uh, they basically took uh, all of the cliche Disney song so like the I'm wishing that's true love's kiss at the beginning or yeah. like the whistle while you work is the happy working song <laughs> and this song is called that's how you know and it is directly based on be our guest and kiss the girl which you can kind of hear in it which is it's fun because yeah. Alan Menken's poking fun at his own work um <laughs> anyway so here's that's how you know sing along um and send us little hearts send us pink hearts during this one. How does she know you love her? How does she know she's yours? How do you show her you love her? How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? How does she know that you love her? How does she show you love her? How does she know that you really, really, truly love her? It's not enough to take the one you love for granted. You must remind her or she'll be inclined to say, How do I know? How you knew? Yeah, it's exactly how I knew. Of course, standard. Right, here comes your trumpet solo, babe. I mean, you can't not dance. I mean, don't dance like it's me. It's all taking place in Central Park. It's so good. Oh. Everybody wants to live happily ever after. Everybody wants to know their true love is true. Oh! 
Yes, that is correct, Elliot. They're an incredible combination. Oh, I love yeah. it. I, I mean, I didn't sing a lot. I was just having my best time. I know. I thought you were going to be my backup singer. <laughs> no, but I've got a tickle in my throat now. Oh, so there's like definite coughing going on. I apologize. Excuse um, me. <laughs> it's okay, baby. Um, now, this next song sort of became a bit of a last minute addition for us because we suddenly thought, we haven't got anything from like his most Please recent share. stuff. So yes, share, 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 share this wonderful thing that we <laughs> we call musical theatre. Um, so we wanted to we wanted to touch base on the Prince of Egypt, which if you haven't heard for whatever reason, because I don't know, there's a pandemic. I think at the beginning of 2020, it opened at the Dominion Theatre in the West End, and obviously, sadly, had to sort of close before it had its big press night opening thing. So. Um, it will be coming back. Uh, I mean, it has to because it, it's a fantastic piece of work. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was based, it's, a, it's the stage adaptation of the animation movie. Now, a lot of people kind of think like, oh, well, it must be, it must be okay. Disney. Well, it's not Disney. It's DreamWorks. And in fact, it is the, uh, I think it's the most successful non-Disney animated film of that all makes time. Sense. Yeah, which yeah. is cool. And, and it was kind of around the time when Jeffrey Katzenberg left, right? When it was, the Disney was kind of things splitting. Things started. Yeah, to yeah. It's just so, so you had like the Don Bluth, film yeah. era going on and yeah, then uh, then DreamWorks started to go into the animation stuff more and uh, and this was an unexpected hit it cost 70 million dollars to make and it grossed about 218 Dang. I think is whatever yeah 218 Good million on them. so obviously because of that they then had a sequel made uh, which was about Joseph um, so Dang. there we go there you go mm-hmm. learn that and also the um, I think it was the this year yeah, this year they've been nominated for Best Musical Theatre Album at the Grammys. Oh, cool. Uh, for, the, uh, for the new released album that they've done. The music's beautiful. Yeah. And this is just a little duet that um, neither Stu and I have ever sung before, but we no. thought we'd take a crack at it for tonight's show. And it's from the stage version. From the stage version. Here we go. <clears throat> Would you ever have thought, given where we started, you and I would chance to meet? Never in a million years. Never in a million years. And now how could you have dreamed if we should be parted? We'd feel somehow incomplete Never in a million years Never in a million years Could you ever have imagined we'd be here like this Ever nearing the inevitable day we kiss and if you should ask how soon I think this feeling disappears Never in a million years Never in a million years Could I ever have imagined I'd be here like this In the afterglow of finally reaching our first kiss And if I were asked how soon I think that feeling disappears Never in a million years, my love Never in a million Oh. So it's just it's just a nice little melody and it's just it's just cute yeah. so we thought we wanted to include something but it is best to put in something that is from the musical now so that hopefully you've all gone oh that's nice i might go and watch that when we can all go to the theater again yeah and hopefully um it'll make it to broadway because none of stephen schwartz's animated films have made it to broadway including this ne- this <coughs> show that's yeah. from the next one which is a disney movie um it's a musical but it didn't yeah. transfer like this this show for me mm-hmm. from of all the disney things that have ever been done it is one of the most 
epic and beautiful, stunning yep. mm-hmm. scores. Alan, Alan Menken wrote the score to this. That Obviously, the last song was uh, music and lyrics by Stephen Schwartz. Uh, this one is music by Alan Menken and lyrics by Stephen Schwartz. Mm-hmm. And uh, it is... It's the Hunchback of Notre Dame, right? And, and I think you watch the Disney film and it, it's still light and fluffy as much as it can be because it's not exactly a nice story. Um, but it's probably one of their darker animated uh, films. And yet the stage show, it just, it's just Epic. even darker and rooted in something solid, which you know, is why they, they haven't brought it to Broadway because it's not the traditional Disney uh, image i guess yeah, yeah totally it's not the family musical but I, i've seen a production of it and it was just like <sighs> mental loved it um so i'm just gonna try to do this 11 o'clock number i do not have any gargoyles and <laughs> and uh and yeah i mean if you ever get a chance listen to michael arden do this on the hunchback of notre dame cast recording it is ridiculous um so let's just let's just go for it babe. go for it and see what what we do this is called made of stone <clears throat> what do you know of me what do you know of all the things i feel you're only made of stone who is it that you see Instead of seeing what I am for real This twisted flesh and bone You're a liar With every new excuse to try out You only make me want to cry out Word that I were made of stone like you You give such good advice so why has not a single word you said been any help at all? And you who sound so nice, the more your dreams and fancies fill my head. The farther that I fall, shut my brain down. If I was senseless, I'd prefer it. Another gargoyle on this torrid spitting rain down to the stone. My faith believing in saints of plaster But the only one worth believing in was my master He's the one who never lied He told me it was cruel outside He told me how I had to hide His words were cold as stone But they were true Not like you Take all the dreams you've sown Take all your lies and leave me alone And now I'm on my own Never again to wonder what's out there Let it remain unknown And my one human eye Will never more be dry Until the day I die As if I Were made of stone take credit for that yeah, I was like, like honey I you gotta sing that that other quasi song <laughs> oh, but out there's so much simpler <laughs> well, I actually, that's crazy that, that's crazy I actually i'm gonna send a thank you out to our producer john hawkins who's producing in palm springs right now lucky guy um thank you john for being here tonight uh you guys know 
Uh, we work with uh, Virtual Piano Bar, uh, and we are broadcast there. I work for Virtual Piano Bar and produce live shows for them all week long, um, and John is one of the creators of that platform. And yeah, uh, any tips and donations that you go to uh, give to us help pay them, and uh, so we appreciate that. So thank you, John. If you see me looking at my phone, it's because we're getting sound notes. <laughs> yes, like, um. Stuart, don't scream so loud no, into the microphone. No, not at all. Not at all. It was perfect. <clears throat> get oh, it. dear. He said, get it. Get it. Get it. So Get yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Thank you for um, your lovely messages all flying in. Thank yes. you. Um, but also, like that, just that is going back to what Elliot said. The combination of Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz mm-hmm. together, like, they, I'm surely like I, I've worked with with writers who are um, purely lyricists or purely book writers and not composers. And I think there's there's something exciting when you when you write with people who also write music because yeah. then you can construct it together probably more in a totally. creative room. Um, so I like, it's just, oh, that that was actually quite satisfying yeah. to do. I'm well, glad you asked me to do that. Very satisfying to hear, so thank you. <laughs> well, move, moving on. Moving right along. Moving on to, uh, well, I guess his first ever show. We, his we, first we show can't on not do it. Yeah. Uh, Godspell, 1970. One. Which also started as a concept at Carnegie Mellon, but he wasn't involved until later. They brought him in, I guess. Oh, Something like okay. that. My, my storytelling is not that fantastic on that point, but I know that it originated there. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. But it's, it's great. Like for me, uh, when I was, I think, uh, I'm going to go with 18. I think, maybe, um, yeah, it must be. I must have been 18. I, I'd finished uh, training at the Brit School and I came back home before I started Mount View. And uh, I joined the Southdown Musical Society down here, the local amateur dramatic society, and they were doing this production of Godspell. Uh, and so it was my first introduction to it properly. Mm. And it, it's great. It's just it's a series of parables uh, loosely based on the gospel according to Matthew. And, uh, and so it's fun. Like You can have some play around with who does what, and it, it's, just, it's a really energized show. It's yeah. very fun to do. I, I was just realizing I actually don't think I've ever sung a song from Godspell until this very minute, like in front of people until right now. Really? Yeah. For, I don't know why. I don't well, know I mean, how. We've got, we made a video of one. Well, that's true. But yes, but, but like, like live. The, the, live, the but, first live thing yes, you've done. Yes. Um, and so like, so I just want to take a quick moment that uh, the director of that production back down here, uh, Sarah Harkness, it's her brother's birthday. And she's today. watching for and sure. She's watching. Her, yeah. And I think the uh, Peter Ostermeyer, or Ostermeyer, I'm not sure what about, but he, it's his birthday. So if you want to say happy birthday, oh, it's Paul, sorry, not Peter. Oh my word, Paul. So if you want to say happy birthday, Paul, by all means do it, but we're going to sing. Happy birthday, Paul. Happy birthday. Uh, why don't we just sing a couple of things from yeah, Godspell? Yeah, these are a couple of songs from Godspell, some of our favorites. You guys sing along. Um, why don't you just put day by day in the comments and John Hawkins can put them up the <laughs> many times we sing this. I just love this guitar bit. Yeah. Day by day Day by day Oh dear Love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day, day by day, day by day. day. Oh dear Lord, three things I pray, to see thee more clearly. Love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly, day by day. On the willows there, we hung up our lives for our captors there. Required of our songs and our tormentors' mirth. On the willows there we hung up our. Of our songs and 
gorgeous song. I mean, like, it's just great, right? Yeah. I'm it's like, so pretty. But there's so many great songs yeah. from that show. And actually, earlier um, this year, we made a video, much like the one you saw at the beginning, of us singing Beautiful City with my little brother and his wife, Danae. It was like the first one we really yeah, did. Yeah, it was the it? first like music video, <laughs> COVID style thing that we did. In fact, I am very tan and very not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> in it um and uh yeah we recorded it all separately and then put it together and released it last july so we would thought this would be a lovely time to share that video with those of you who haven't seen it yes. and a lot of people asked for us to sing beautiful city but we preferred this version of the four of us doing it all together so um with uh, further ado john would you please play the video Oh, 
Can we just discuss how I've married into the most beautiful family? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Carl and Danae, <laughs> they're movie very stars. attractive couple. They're aren't movie they? stars, literally. They are movie stars. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was such, but it was really cool. That was the first time I've ever sung with my little brother, and mm-hmm. then obviously, for, it was the first time I've ever sung with Danae as well. Um, and but it was, so it was the first time it. that I felt like I was in your family. Yeah. Like, and, and we weren't married then, and we weren't mm-hmm. we weren't even engaged then. No. Nope. Like, what a year it's what been. What a year. <laughs> well. well <laughs> anyway. Moving right along. Thank you guys so much. And that was a perfect time for me to take a pee break. So, well done. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so, we're moving right along. We're going to go back to Pippin for a second and sing one of the duets from that show. Um, Pippin was extremely successful and was directed by Bob Fosse. Mm-hmm. And actually, Bob Fosse had put in a lot of lines to like make Pippin, the, the musical, darker than had an, it, it had originally intended to be, mm-hmm. um, which are now out of the show. But one of the things that he had put in um, right before this song, <laughs> we're Amanda, not doing it. <laughs> Fosse dance <play>. um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> he would. He said, and then our two lovers were struck by a love song, to comment on the tongue-in-cheek nature of these lyrics. So, yeah. we're going to sing a love song for Pippin for you right now. Hope you enjoy. This is a new one for me too. A lot of these are new this t- tonight. <laughs> Joy. Sitting on the floor and talking till dawn Candles and confidences Trading old beliefs and harming old souls And lowering old defenses Singing a love song La 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 Love song La 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 Private little jokes and silly pet names Lavender soap and lotion All of the cliches and all of the games And all of the strange emotions Singing a love song La 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 By themselves now they don't mean much together they send you really into a love song la 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 love song la 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 Another cute song, really, isn't it? I just realized he mentioned Michael Arden earlier because he played Quasimodo in Hunchback. Mm -hmm. I saw Michael Arden play the voice of Pippin when Deaf West Productions did it in LA a number of years ago. Um, And he was amazing. Amazing. Michael Arden's just ridiculous anyway. Stinking talented. That's what he is. Well, you've had you've had enough of the uh, the nice soft little ballads. Yes. I think it's time for Heather to just blow something out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Wait, oh, oh. I don't get it. Wind. Wind! Oh! Uh. This next song is from the musical Rags, which I actually have seen a production of because when I was visiting colleges 
um, to see where I wanted to go to school, one of the colleges that I visited, this was their musical that they were doing. All right. Um, anyway, it lasted for four performances on Broadway. Stephen uh, Schwartz only wrote the lyrics and Carl Strauss. Uh, Charles. Who, uh, sorry, Charles Strauss. <laughs> Good old Carl. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Thank you, my brother's still pregnant brain. Um, um, he uh, wrote the music, the guy who wrote Annie, and this song is epic. And the whole score is really epic, but it's just... It's very it's different to Annie, Very, to very different to Annie. So this is sung by a uh, Jewish immigrant, and it is called Children of the Wind. <laughs> Hiding in the wheat fields from the Cossacks and the streams. Flames are on the hillside, blazing the streams. All oh, the world is burning, that's the way that it seems. David, did they hurt you? And there's 40 miles to go Sneaking past the border In the silent snow Sleeping under haystacks Eating roots where they grow Begging on the pier at Danzig Well, we made it here from Danzig What a night I was I was reading reading along with the with the music. A little different just, to Annie, yeah. I'm I'm fascinated by because of because of Annie. Yeah. It's a hard night for us. Um, that I'm just 
fascinated to, to hear the complexity of the score that Charles it's Strauss wrote. It's beautiful. And like, it, oh my word. Yeah, it's, and that's the number four song in the show. It's not the closer or anything. She's just <laughs> like, she's like, and here you go. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, children, wind gone. Yeah. But like, <laughs> yes, Next I week. will sing the entire score. Of Annie, oh. uh, I, I won't, I won't. <laughs> um, but I must say, I, I, I just start breathing with you. That was a, <laughs> that is happening amazing um wow okay to so that everyone can calm down a little bit uh i'm gonna sing a song from uh a, a disney movie mm-hmm. uh a, like um not an animated film uh anim- animated fumi <laughs> an animated film uh but a live action um film that they made called geppetto in the year 2000 um, and it actually starred Drew Carey, which I thought was very so odd. If, if, uh, I, I used to watch um, Whose Line Is It Anyway? And Drew Carey was the presenter on that. So I was always watched it for that. But like, I don't know him more than that. But it still surprised me. Um, <laughs> and this, uh, the, the, the film has actually ended up becoming like a, a, a stage production as well called Geppetto and Son. But I don't know what's really happening with that. I, I, yeah, I don't know if they... If, it's probably licensed out, but there hasn't been like a big production or anything like that that comes from it. But uh, I thought uh, I would sing a song. Geppetto sings it when um, uh, one of the other characters comes and wants to take Pinocchio away from him. And he basically says, I will give you everything I own except Pinocchio. So that's this song. And I just want to take a moment to say that uh, Mm -hmm. a couple of these piano tracks have been made by our friend Charlie Ingalls. So a big shout out to Charlie. Thank you very much for doing that. We love working with Charlie. We send him music and he sends it straight back and it's always awesome. Yeah. Um, So thanks buddy if you're watching. Um, Right. This is called Since I Gave My Heart Away. You can take my favorite chair Go on, take it, I don't care There's no possession I can't spare Since I gave my heart away If I had a bank account You could take the whole amount Things and riches, what are they since I gave my heart away? Till I felt like this, I could not have understood Until you give your heart to someone else You might as well be made of wood So take my home, look, here's the key And all of value you might see But if you take your son from me That's a price I cannot pay Since I gave my heart late but no regrets the more of your heart you give to someone else the fuller that it gets so take my home look here's the key and all of value you might see but never take my son from me That's a price I cannot pay Since I gave my heart away Beautiful, babe. It's a really pretty song, isn't it? Yeah. 
Like, and Drew just, Carey actually sounded good doing it as really? well. Like, I yeah, to it's this. nice. It's on. It's on. If you want to find it, like you can you can YouTube it, and they've got the, a snippet of the film and when the song's done. And obviously, a piano is great, but when you hear the sweeping score of the orchestration underneath, it's just great. Um, good timing, I guess. We, yeah. Uh, we had um, uh, all the information about our tips mm. jar, uh, PayPal, Venmo. QR code. code. The QR code. Or a credit. There's a link in the bio as well. Yes. Yep. So thank you. We've seen seen people donating and, and putting yeah. stuff in and, and, and supporting us. So thank you very much. We are obviously We're... unemployed yeah. <laughs> and doing this. This is our job. This is our job now and we, mm-hmm. we absolutely love it. And, and we can't wait for next week's. Either, yeah. So. Next week, the musicals of the 50s. <laughs> There's so much to choose from. It's crazy. Um so we're moving to a show that we haven't sung from yet we have not i, would, I mean I, people have probably thought why like, haven't we what sung is from going this? on where's children of eden <laughs> um yeah so we're gonna there's children of eden never been on broadway but i know so many of the songs you've you know yeah. we, they're very famous i mean it didn't um it didn't make it to broadway because when they opened it in london with the rsc mm-hmm. or the rsc workshop and then it and then it went into into the west end um it didn't last long because huh. the reviews weren't that great and then, because I think there was the Persian Gulf War going on, so there was oh. an awful lot of uh, of sort of fear about traveling, and and the tourism market was hit sort of globally worldwide. So actually, the show closed a lot early. So they deemed that as not worth huh. taking to Broadway. And it was his, I think somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but he this was 1991, and he didn't have a show on Broadway, a new show on Broadway until 2003, which was Wicked. Oh, but he wasn't. This wasn't on Broadway. But he hadn't. He didn't write a new like stage musical I mean, between that. I mean, based on everything we were saying earlier about yeah. the Disney yeah. period, that kind of makes sense. But yes. still, like that's that's a long period of time. I know. But like it's this this year I marks fifty years of his career, which though, is also which crazy. Is cool, yeah. Um. So yeah, are you ready? Yes. We're gonna sing a little duet. I think you probably have. Mo- many of you have heard of it. Some of you maybe not. This is in whatever time we have. It's such a lovely duet. <laughs> First time singing this too. <laughs> Besides learning it for Rouette. In whatever time we have, for as long as we are living, we can face whatever comes. If we face it now as one, I could make it on my own. Let me know that I don't have to. No one really wants to be alone In whatever time we have If at times we are afraid With so little to believe in It's alright to feel afraid I will hold you in the dark All we know for sure is this Though the world could end tomorrow, you and I will be together in whatever time, in whatever time we, we have. have. For as long as we are living, we, no we can, can face whatever comes. If it face it now wrong, is one, and we won't And I will be your shield No No one one really wants wants to be alone alone. In whatever time we have There are times I've been afraid In a world that's so uncertain Then I feel your hand in mine And there's courage in my heart We could live a hundred Years. Or the world could end tomorrow, but we know we'll be together in whatever time. From this day forward, nights won't seem so black. From this day forward, we will never Whatever time we have, we will make the most of time, and at least we'll be together in whatever time we Nice.
practicing that with you, honey. I'm practicing it with you too, oh, love. Oh, yeah, it's great. Um, <gasps> well, moving on, I'm going to sing you another song from Children we of We only Eden. have a few more left, guys. Thanks <clears throat> yeah. so much for being with us. Thank you, John. Thank you for everybody who's tuned in. Like, this is just this is great. It's such a joy to sing this music. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying yourselves. We were actually starting to talk about next month and, uh, and what we're going to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we suddenly realized... We're, the first one in March is going to be our 20th Which is concert. crazy. It's crazy that we've just done 20. <laughs> if, so if we get that far. Like, you know, we've got to get songs. through 19, yeah? Yeah, uh, that's so seriously, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. So thank you for those who've been with us ever since the beginning and, and continue to stick with us. Thanks, we'll keep plowing on because we, we are running a bit late today, but it was always going to be like this because it's, it's an amazing catalogue of songs. Um, so this song uh, is also from Children of Eden. Um, now, what I realize is that the Children of Eden was actually called Family Tree before it became a musical. Um, John Caird came on board uh, with the RSC and helped shape it into a musical, wrote the book for it and di uh, directed it. Um, so if you don't know John Caird, he worked on Les Mis as well. So, like, you know, it was kind of like a thing in those times. He was very, very good. And he's got a production of Jane Eyre as well. Like oh. he wrote a wonderful production of Jane Eyre. Anyway, I digress. Um, so yeah, this, but this was actually a little project that um, Stephen Schwartz uh, sort of took on board and it was called Family Tree. And his, his whole concept was just to make it about 11 songs, uh, all sort of based on, on the, the idea of Children of Eden and the early, the, the, the book of Genesis. There was no script. It was just these songs. But there's about three of those songs that stayed in the show. And this one song that I think, I just think it's great. That this epic number it's stayed right from the word go all the way through to the productions that you see now. So it's sung all the time. It's just, yeah. So if you want to, let's, um, let's do it. Let's just go with it. I never made this world, I didn't even lose it And I know no one said it was fair But they had it gone once, they had the chance to choose it They gave it away including my share Now we're lost in the wilderness Lost, crying in the wilderness And if anyone's watching it seems they couldn't care less we're lost in the wilderness You follow all the rules You swallow all the stories And every night you wish on a star Dreaming your day will come Trusting in allegories And every morning, boy, look where you are Slowly dying in the wilderness With no chance of a living boy Until you confess You're lost in the wilderness Did you ever watch the eagle fly to the sun? I wonder how he got to be so free If you ever have, you know your journey's begun Well, well what have you got to lose, boy? When already we all lost Without a warning, running as we hit the ground, where our future lies be morning, where our hearts are outward bound. To one bright and distant morning, we may stop and look around, and there in the wilderness, finally we'll be <laughs> man like that was so good and somebody said effortless it's just effortless it's perfect it's perfect in your voice that's, thank you and thank you gorgeous, my beautiful babe. wife yeah that was amazing well, um, 
We've got two more songs left for you guys. There's only Yay. one place left to go with this There's show all, now. Th this is <laughs> my, my favorite Stephen Schwartz song. I think a lot of yours too, because you requested it. Um, About and a billion times. A million times. I've never. I've also never sung this one in front of people before, so I'm a little nervous, because mm -hmm. um, it is such a beloved tune. Um, from the musical The Baker's Wife, originally recorded by Patti Lapone when they did a tour of this show. <laughs> and there's a um, recording that they recorded in a, an apartment that became a cult classic. And this song in particular, Meadowlark, was, record, uh, was beloved by women and men to sing. And I guess Trevor Nunn heard it <laughs> sung so many times in auditions over here that he finally was like, we have to put a production of The Baker's Wife on <laughs> yeah. over here. And it, it, it's a very long show, and I don't think that the show in itself works that well. Um, so <laughs> it didn't do that well. But this song is just stunning, and I'm going to sing it for you now. Guys, sit back, <laughs> relax, and prepare your like. minds to be blown. <laughs> When I was a girl, I had a favorite story Of the meadowlark who lived where the rivers wind Her voice could match the angels in its glory But she was blind The lark was blind An old king came and took her to his palace where the walls were burnished bronze and golden braid and he fed her fruit and nuts from an ivory chalice and he prayed sing for me my meadowlark sing for me of the silver morning buy you a priceless jewel, a cloth of brocade and cruel, and I'll love you for life if you will sing for me. Then one day as the lark sang by the water, the god of the sun heard her in his flight, and her singing moved him so he came and brought her the gift of sight. Gave her sight, and she opened her eyes to the shimmer and the splendor of this beautiful young god, so proud and strong. And he called to the lark in a voice both rough and tender, Come along, fly with me, my meadow lark, fly with me on the silver morning. Make a feast of the plums and peaches Just as far as your vision reaches Fly with me But the meadowlark said no For the old king loved her so She couldn't bear to wound his pride So the sun god flew away found his meadowlark had died. Every time I heard that part, I cried. And now I stand here starry-eyed and stormy. Oh, just when I thought my heart was finally with
that can sing that song and not uh, many people that can sing that song six and a half months pregnant but, at the end of a one and a half hour Stephen Schwartz epic it's just it's just one of those things where right. it's like I mean come on like uh, thanks thanks right. I'm so emotional it just it's it's I think I heard that song over this summer this past summer and I just was like it's just it's just beautiful the lyric and the idea of a woman who's like making a decision behind leaving something that she knows that's maybe not the greatest and having the opportunity to leap and go do something else and like that leap is just it's anyway it's just lovely anyway. sorry i'm not <laughs> I, I i just think you're amazing Thanks. i just think you're absolutely Thank amazing you. Jeez. it's a great song um so yeah <laughs> john oh. just texted me and said you are so pregnant I was like, <laughs> yes i am i can't stop crying for anything <laughs> like that uh. uh we've come to the final song of the show but guys thank you thank you for enduring us for uh longer than normal an hour yeah. and 40 minutes just oh. turned um we have <clears throat> so <laughs> even i'm a bit choky uh we have loved singing all these songs and looking into these shows. We hope we've introduced you to some new stuff. We hope that you have enjoyed what we've done with some songs that you already know. Um, we've hopefully brought some facts or, or things to, to light that you may not know before. And yeah, thank you again. If you've tipped or donated or contributed, we are very, very grateful. I promise to send the thank you emails out within the next 24 hours this time instead of, <laughs> instead of leaving it by accident to today. And also, um, if you guys want to be included in the Stay Bill or a program that you can yes. get sent to you before the show every week, um, you can sign up for our email blast. It's in the description above or below, wherever, to the side. Um, <laughs> and uh, you get, you'll get you get a sneak peek at our set list. So um, yes, that's kind of fun. And especially for next week's when we have, we do a little bit more research into the history of all these shows. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I mean, um, thank you very much. Yes, <laughs> next week you, is the uh, the final the final show for us of our February lineup, and then we'll announce hopefully by the end of next week our uh, in our stable we'll announce our next month our March collection. Yeah, very soon. Um, we'll soon find out what's happening with uh, with with Boris Johnson over here announcing the 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 plan to open up yeah. the country. So we'll see if we can eventually do something in person but we are going to definitely keep doing these because we're really enjoying it and and to be speaking with you all across the world now yeah it's amazing thank so you cool. um so yeah let's we love you all thank you very much this Here's is our, probably the oh. best closer that shorts has written and um we feel this way about all of you we feel this way about each other mm -hmm. and we're gonna leave you with a little for good <laughs>
But I know I'm who I am today Because I knew you Like a comet pulled from orbit As it passes the sun Like a stream that meets a boulder Halfway through the world Who can say if I've been changed for the better Because I knew you I have been changed That we will never meet again in this lifetime So let me say before we part So much of me is made of what I learned from you You'll be with me Like a handprint on my heart And now whatever way our story Because I knew you I have been changed for good And just to clear the air I ask forgiveness For the things I've done you blame me for But then I guess we know there's blame to share And none of it seems to matter anymore Like a stream that meets a boulder Halfway through the world Who can say If I've been changed for the better I do believe I have been changed for the better Because I knew you Because I Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Take See care, you next week. Have Thank you so week. much for being here. Mwah!